we're going to focus on balance to improve our core strength. When we think about the core, we want to look at the glutes as part of that core. So this whole area here, the diaphragm, the glutes, the abdominals, the back, those, that psoas muscle, the hips, this whole area, the, the stronger this area is, the more um, efficient our balance will be and that will help it with our longevity as we age. We're going to start off with um, either a reflex ball or a tennis ball and you're going to bring the ball under the foot. Now we know that the, the deep core line starts from the big toe into the arch of the foot and up the inside of the leg. So we're going to start off releasing that deep core line, working along the inside line of that foot. So from the big toe to the heel, you're going to apply as much weight into the ball as you want to. So we're going to release that deep core line in this area. Bring the heel onto the ball, onto the mat. Tuck the ball with the toes and you're going to roll that foot from side to side, releasing the ball of the foot now. So just rolling and wrapping the foot right over the top of the ball. Bring the ball into the arch of the foot. So you're rolling in a circular motion and change direction. Let's bring the heel onto the ball and again you're going to roll from side to side. Now what we're going to do, which requires a little bit of stabilization so activate the glutes, is you're going to roll quickly under the foot. So this is a proprioceptive movement. Proprioception is your awareness of your body in space. And once you release the ball, you should feel quite a nice tingling feeling, those just activating those nerves in the sole of the foot and just being aware of that foot and where the body is in space. Let's bring the ball under the other foot, roll from the big toe to the heel, wrap the toes around the ball and a nice release. Now this you want to work nice and slowly to stretch the sole of the foot into that plantar fascia under the arch of the foot. Let's bring the ball under the ball of the foot, wrap the toes over the top of the ball and just roll from side to side. Focus on your posture while you're in this position. Look down and see what's going on and then look up a lot easier to activate the glutes when the chin is lifted. Let's bring the ball under the arch of the foot and circle in one direction. Now you're going to change direction. Be aware of the other foot, just relax the toes. Bring the heel onto the ball. Roll the heel from side to side. And now taking the ball and rolling quickly back and forth. It's a nice quick movement. And then just release the ball. And you just feel that tingling sensation, waking up those nerves. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one foot in front of the other and we're going to focus on that strength in that ankle at the back. So you want these stabilizers to really kick in and help you just focus on that balance. So be careful that the back foot is not turned out or turned in. So you want to really line them up again, not down. And if you need um, balance of some kind, Use a wall and try and focus on really squeezing those glutes to help get those stabilizers engaged. So let's take the front foot out to the side and we're going to focus on lifting 
and slide in the inside of that big toe. So I don't want you to be turned out. Focus on turning the, keeping the hips square and turning the foot in. And you're gonna rise up on the ball of the foot. And just slide in that side leg in and out. In and out. Keep going another four and three and two and one. Good. From there, lift the leg up at the back. And if you see me from the side, I want you to again challenge your balance as you slowly bring your upper body down, relaxing your head, fingertips on the mat, and I want you to try and off that and balance yourself. Just giving yourself a bit of a challenge by moving the upper body and that leg from side to side. So you're going to focus on trying to um, take yourself off balance. Just moving from side to side and feel those muscles in the inside of the leg and that lateral line kick in. Good. Let's do the same thing with the other foot. So you're going to take the other foot behind and that foot that you've been balancing on should come in front. And again, just relax into it and feel that back ankle really kicking into action. Ease yourself into your breath, into your diaphragm. Focus on breathing through the nose. Let's take that front foot out to the side, balancing on the side of that big toe and rising up onto the ball of your supporting foot. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you release. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Good. And again, like we did on the other side, lift that back leg up. And I want you to try and unbalance yourself, working really well into that foot strength. That ankle's kicking in, and you're really engaging those lateral and those deep core line muscles. Stabilize yourself. This is a great one for runners. If anyone's had any Achilles injuries, or tibia fractures, you want to try and really focus on strengthening into those ankles. And then bring the feet side by side. What we're going to do now is take a nice deep breath in and just roll down through the spine, stretch the back line of the body, and relax your hands on the mat. And just walking with the knees. Keep the feet flat, relax the head. So you're lengthening the back line of the body and just releasing a little bit into the hips. Four more. And three, and two, and one. Now just bounce that upper body. Take a nice deep breath in, and slowly unfold. Just circle the shoulders up and back. And we're just going to finish off bouncing off the, the heels. So just Relaxing the hands and the arms and just bouncing off the heels. Again, working into the ankles and the calves and getting those core stabilizers working as well. Keep going. Four more. Three and two and one. Good. And just kick the feet up. Bring the hands into the shoulders and a little bit of a rotation of release. Four, three, two, and one. Last breath in. And 
Try and reach up and breathe out. And change. 